What's up guys, how's it going? Mike the Tech here. And if you're watching this video, chances are you're not subscribed because 99% of you are not subscribed. We're getting lots of views. Um, subs are doing all right. Not 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 too great in, in terms of views, but I'm just taking it as we're going viral, getting lots of views. Uh, 10,000 subs so far and growing. So I'm excited and I would love for you to join us on that journey. Let's get into the video itself though. How to sideload apps using Windows Subsystem for Android. Um, so the Windows Subsystem for Android is installed by default on Windows 11 Insider. Um, previews that may change to the dev or later builds and eventually into Windows 11 altogether. Um, you can also force the install in Windows 11 by installing the Amazon App Store. Um, the Windows uh, subsystem for Android is a requirement of the Amazon App Store, so that'll get installed when you do that. Once you have it installed, um, you can go to the Windows subsystem for Android settings, and here is the subsystem itself. We can see the version number and all of these um, settings for it. Um, we can open up the files. There we go. And we have a actual downloads uh, folder, just like we would have on Android, where we can access all of the files within this um, device, uh, so our computer. Uh, so that's kind of useful in that sense. Um, we'll be using that later. And then we can also choose which uh, GPU is used for these uh, apps. Now, a lot of these are emulated, though they do use direct GPU access. They still have to run a lot of processing in the background. So you want to choose your most powerful GPU for this to make sure it runs well. And then um, we want to turn on developer mode and allow access. Now, developer mode, uh, once this shows up is going to give us an IP address that we can use to install apps uh, through ADB, but we have to install ADB first. But let's go ahead and copy this address here just so we save it for later. Um, you can do that just by hitting copy right here. And then uh, we'll minimize this and use that later. Uh, now we need to install the Android SDK. Uh, so you want to download the SDK platform tools for Windows. Uh, we can scroll down here and hit download Android SDK platform tools for Windows. We're gonna open that up. Here it is. And we're gonna extract this somewhere that we're gonna remember. So uh, actually, let me look in here real quick. Yeah, so let's extract this to our C drive. And I'm just going to make a folder called Platform Tools. Now, this might make it recursive, but I'll, I'll check right now. So let's install there. I probably should have just copied them in. The reason I'm second guessing it is uh, because sometimes it, when you extract the file, it'll extract the whole folder along with it. So this will end up C drive slash platform dash tools slash platform dash tools. So I have to adjust the file structure, but that's not a big deal. You guys get that. Yep, it did. So we're just going to move all of this up one level. There we go. All right, so now we have uh, C drive, platform tools. You can go in here and type uh, run and then CMD. Just to use a standard good old Microsoft version of command prompt. And we're gonna change directory to the C drive slash um, platform tools. There we go. So now we're in uh, platform tools in command prompt. Uh, now what we need to do is uh, go to ADB connect and then we're going to put the IP address. Okay, it started successfully and it failed to authenticate. So let me run as administrator real quick just to see if that's it. So we're going to right click on command prompt and run as administrator. We're going to cd to c slash 
platform tools, ADB connect. Oops. All right, so it says already connected. So now we're connected. Um, let's go ahead and try installing something. So we need an APK. So I downloaded one. Uh, I'm going to pull this in here and just place it into this folder. And I'm going to name it something easy to remember because I don't want to type that much. And in platform tools, once we're connected, we're going to go to ADB install. And then we're going to put the name of the APK, autos.apk. Success, it performed the streamed install and uh, now it's installed. So let's see if we could find it. And here's Alto, let's click on that. And we have Alto's adventure in Windows. I'm not sure if this is in the Amazon App Store. I don't think it is, but even if it is, it's still a good example of how to install any APK onto Windows. So yeah, that's about it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below and uh, be sure to hit that sub button and that way we can start changing that graph around. Thank you so much. Peace. What? You've never heard of stream savers? And you thought PewDiePie was the only YouTuber to make a game? I made a game too, and it's called Stream Savers. And it's available for pre-order right now for $9.99. And that's a great price.